from Arkansas. The death toll from a flash flood that swept through a rural campground early Friday morning has now risen to 20. In the last hour, officials announced they had recovered the body of the last person known missing since that pre-dawn disaster. NBC's John Yang following the search live in Langley, Arkansas. What are you learning, John? So they did make that announcement just a few minutes ago. They say the body was found maybe 45 minutes ago. They are not giving us a lot of details uh, uh, about the body. They, they, yesterday when they found the 19th body, they were able to quickly say that it had been tentatively identified and that the missing list went down by one. Now they are saying that there is no one remaining on the known missing list, but they are not saying that this body has been tentatively identified. The search will continue, even though everyone that they knew was unaccounted for, everyone that they knew was in the area and had not been accounted for, has now been found or is no longer listed as unaccounted for. They are going to continue the search for several more days. They say they want to be absolutely confident there is no one else there, that there may be people they don't know about, that neighbors and friends have not reported as missing. They're focusing on these big piles of debris, all this stuff that was swept down along with the surging waters on Friday morning. A lot of it in the bends of the river got caught and, uh, and debris built up. Some of it as high as 30 feet, some of it as long as 120 feet. They're pulling it apart using bulldozers, backhoes, chainsaws. They're finding not just uh, trees and branches and limbs, they're finding uh, wildlife getting swept up, uh, 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 vehicles getting swept up, and that's where the focus is because that is where two of the last three bodies have been found. The last body was found in the river, but now no one is officially listed as unaccounted in this flash flood. Contessa? John, thank you very much for the update. There might be the governor of Arkansas. Governor, good to get for you to give us a few minutes of your sure. time here. Where do you go from here? Well, uh, as was just reported, the, the search continues uh, because you never know whether or not there's going to be somebody who was uh, not uh, listed by people who knew that uh, folks were in the campground. Uh, and so you really just can't afford just to call it off immediately. Uh, hopefully there won't be any more uh, bodies found. Hopefully there won't be any more people that are unaccounted for. Uh, but you don't want to take that chance, uh, so you want to continue uh, the search. now. Uh, where they go from here, obviously, uh, this is a federal campsite, so uh, I was asked earlier today whether or not we were going to close this permanently. You know, that's not my call, but certainly uh, the federal government uh, obviously will review the procedures. This is an unmanned uh, campsite from the standpoint of having the kind of amenities that you would expect uh, uh, some of those manned campsites to have. It's a very remote and rural area. That's why people like to go there is because it is that remote and it is that rural. And how much did the fact that the, the, there were very few cell phone signals available in this area, or none at all, as I understand, no uh, cell phone towers in the area, how much did that compromise the search for these folks? Well, it uh, it may have compromised to some extent uh, for a while some of the search, although we were able to get some portable cell phone towers in there fairly quickly. Uh, had there been cell phone service there, though, at the uh, time of the event, I'm not sure how much difference that would have made. It was 3 o'clock in the morning, and as you might imagine, uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, your greatest likelihood everybody's going to be asleep. Uh, right. The weather service actually did issue a warning uh, about 2 o'clock in the morning, but unless you were awake, uh, there would have been no way, or unless you had one of those weather radios or something that would have picked it up, there's probably no way those folks would have ever been warned. It happened extremely quickly, uh, as flash floods do, and it happened at the worst possible time when nobody is awake or nobody is uh, available to be able to transmit the warning to uh, other people. Now. Right. Luckily, there were two people that were awake, uh, and they uh, they actually did uh, warn some folks, but it happened so quickly uh, that they were only able to warn a few people in their immediate area. Just a tragic situation all around. Governor Beebe, thank you so much Absolutely. for giving us that time today. Sure. He wants to go home. You're going to find out what deal 